If you want to learn how to connect and code an Arduino to a HT1632 LED matrix, then stick around. Okay guys, now I'm just going to do a quick comparison between the two units here in front of me. So on the left hand side we have a dot matrix display which is a 32 by 8 LED. Now the driver is a MAX7219. Now how that works is there's one driver per 8 by 8 of the LED cells. So they connect up all together and then you can run as many of those as you want. So showing there is the 32 by 8. Now on the right hand side we have the HW265 uh, which is a same 32 by 8 LED matrix but the driver is a HT1632 which that one driver controls all 32 by 8 LEDs um, so the one on the left is a lot more common than the one on the right and there's not as many videos online on how to code them so hence why I'm creating this video here and the controller that we'll be coding this with uh, is the Arduino Uno which I am using a clone version but other than that the pins and everything else are still the same with the normal. So first we're going to look at the wiring so what I've got here is the red wire connected to the 3.3 volts black to ground and then the orange brown and yellow I've got connected uh, to the digital pins and you can see that wiring up in the top corner there how I've connected it so from the Arduino the wire across to the HT1632 so make sure that you've wired them up similar and then next what we can do is jump into the programming side so first off what you want to do is find yourself the library for the HT1632. Now I've put a link to this library in the description below. So once you select the, the download button you can download as a zip file and then just hit the open with and open the file. Now once that's open you'll have the folder there and you want to open up a second folder which will be your Arduino directory where it's installed. Now inside that folder you will have a subfolder called libraries. So if we go down to the libraries folder and open that up and what you would do is drag the folder for the library into that libraries folder and in this case it's saying do you want to replace them but this won't happen if it's your first time doing it. So now we have to make sure that the library is set up properly. So what you're going to do is open the folder and you'll find a file in here called ht1632.h. Now if we right click on this file and edit with uh, Notepad++ and I'd recommend getting it if you have not installed that yet. You scroll down to which matrix display you're actually using. So if you're using a 32 by 8 mono you would have that one uncommented. Uh, by doing the two dashes as I was showing there. You save that uh, file and quit out of it uh, and basically after that we can go inside the examples folder and open up one of the examples. Now the last step we have to do is go up to the sketch and include libraries and then hit the manage libraries button and this is where we're going to actually install that library. So in the search bar we can type in HT1632 and that'll bring up the library that we just added to the folder. Now we do need to install it and you can see there it's the installed one I've already got. So if you were to click that one across on the right hand side would be an install button and you would install the library that way. As you can see on this one above there's the install button. So once that's done we close out of that and basically we have our code. Now in the tools in the top we need to make sure we've selected the correct Arduino so you can come down to the boards and select the correct one and I'm using the generic uh, Uno so make sure your com socket is also correct otherwise you'll get an error and what we're just going to make sure is that the pins are correct and I had them set at 9, 10 and 11 but if you've got different pins you can change that then you hit the verify button and once that's verified you can then upload making sure that your Arduino is actually plugged in via the USB port. And once that's finished uploading 
your Arduino will reset itself and the screen should display the correct image. And there we go. So we've now got the heart showing up on the Arduino and you can go back and try some of the different examples if you wish. Uh, in this case I'm going to try the sailboat example. So opening that file up and we do the exact same process making sure the pins are correct and in this case I need to change these around. Verify and upload the code and then once that's done the Arduino will reset the screen and you'll see the new image. Now just as an example here what I'm going to do is tweak the code a little bit so if we go back to the code and you can see down the bottom the delay I'm going to shorten that time which will actually speed that sailboat up. So as you can see it's running a bit faster I can make it shorter and it goes really fast. So they're just some quick examples and you can go through the libraries and look at the other examples in there if you want. Um, but tell me if you had any difficulties with this tutorial, if you want to know anything else. Make sure to like and subscribe. But that's about it for me. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.